Today Mark and I are, are back at Golden Gardens Park in Seattle, Washington, upper level in the woods, in the woods above Puget Sound. And the topic for this episode is how to make a truth table for a single formula and then read information off of that table. So we're going to take a formula that has just one letter in it or one component and let's say Let's take the formula A and tilde A, quantity negated. So this would read, uh, it's not the case that, and then the quantity A and not A. And we already know how to calculate the truth value of that if we assign truth values directly to A. But now we're going to do this on a truth table. So. I'm going to draw the table underneath the formula like this and then have Mark calculate it after I give a couple remarks. So the, we put the formula here on the right upper right quadrant and over here we write all the letters that are in the formula. In this case the formula has one letter but it's repeated twice. And then underneath we write all the possible truth values that that letter could be assigned and of course, a single letter can either be true or false, so there's only two truth value assignments. It's either true or false. And then a couple definitions. We say that the scope of a connective is the connective plus whatever it applies to. So the scope of this tilde here would be itself plus the A. So the scope of this tilde would stretch from here to here. And then the scope of the ampersand would be itself plus whatever the ampersand applies to. So its scope starts here and goes to here. So that's the scope of the ampersand. And then the tilde here applies to the parenthesis, which pairs with this parenthesis. And so the scope of this tilde, of course, is everything to the right. It's itself plus everything to the right. And that second definition will say that a, the main connective of a formula is the connective of greatest scope. And so therefore that's the smallest scope connective, that's the next biggest scope connective, and then the connective of greatest scope is this tilde applied to the whole, therefore that's the main connective. Size matters. Size matters okay. when, it's, yeah, when it comes yeah. to operators oh, or okay. connectives, okay. yes. Although I don't know if the bigger the better. That's true. Yeah. So now what we do when we calculate the value of, when we fill in the table and calculate the value of a formula for every possible truth value that its components could be assigned, we start with the smallest scope connective and calculate that. If there's a tie, the order doesn't matter. If there's two connectives of equal scope, the order doesn't matter. We start with the smallest, we go to the next biggest connective, and we end up at the end doing the main connective and uh, so this is a uh, inside out procedure. You go inside the formula and work your way out to the greatest scope connective. Uh, and then another definition, the values that are underneath the main connective form what we call the final column. So the final column of a table will be the values under the main. So now Mark is going to fill the table in. Okay, well, I can do this. Okay. I'll stand here because I'm right-handed. Okay. Working, you can work horizontally or vertically. I'll just work horizontally here. On this first row, A's true. So I'll just be consistent and make all the A's true. And then as Paul said, I want to start off with the uh, connectives with the smallest uh, scope. So that would be this tilde. If the A's true, that tilde is going to be false. Next we have the ampersand in size in terms of scope. Uh, the left conjunct is true, the right conjunct is false. So we know then that the ampersand is going to be false. And then finally the main connective. This tilde is negating this entire conjunction. So if the conjunction main operator, main connective is false, then this tilde must be true. So it looks like given A is true, the statement as a whole would be true. And let's just complete the table now. In the row two, the A's are false. 
And again, if that A is false, the tilde next to it's going to be true. And if we have a, a ampersand with a false left side and a true right side, we know the ampersand's false. And once again, this tilde is negating the conjunction, and this is the main operator of the conjunction. So if that's false, the tilde is true. So the final column has nothing but trues, all trues, which would make it a tautology. If it was all Fs, it would be a contradiction. If it was a mixture of Ts and Fs, it would be a contingency. Those are the three choices here in this case for single statements. But since we have all Ts in the final column, we have a tautology.